My name's Lucy, and for what's on our mind this week, I'm going to be looking at batch editing mark records. To do this, we need to go into the tools menu. And we're looking at two separate areas. The mark modification templates, which is where you set up your rules and actions um, in order to tell COA uh, the modifications you want to make to the mark record. And then once you've got that, that set up, you can go to your batch record modification itself and actually apply those changes to, to a batch of records. So I'm going to start with the mark modification template. Here I've got a couple of templates already set up. So I'm going to do a new template and I'm going to give it a name so that I know what the template is for. Now, in this case, I'm going to um, create a rule or an action in this template to tell COA to move a series entry from the 440 field across into the 490 field. Uh, so that this is a change that happened in Mark 21 um, quite a while ago uh, to move the series entry. Um, so this might be something you might want to do to your old catalogue records to bring them up to date. So I'm going to call on this um, 440 update. I could copy, uh, create this template based on, on an existing template if I wanted to by duplicating here, but I'm just going to create this one from scratch. And that's my 440 update created. I now need to add actions to it. So I'm going to do a new action. And here I've got um, some options in this drop down. Um, for the change that I would want to make to the mark record. So I could delete fields, I could add new fields, um, I could add new fields and, and update existing fields if they already existed. Uh, in this case, I'm going to move, it's going to be a straightforward move from one mark field to another. In the next field, I could choose either to move all fields or just the first one. So I'm going to choose all, although I think in most cases you'd only have one series field. And then I'm going to say so for 440 field, subfield A, so I need to put in the full tag and then the, the subfield, and move it to the 490 subfield A field. You can do quite complicated pattern matching with using regular expressions if you wanted to, but I'm going to leave that for today. And then in the next box down, I've got some sort of conditional, so if or unless. So I'm going to say here, I'm going to move the 440 to the 490 if the 490 support A doesn't exist. So I've got some options here if this doesn't exist, matches and doesn't match. So I'm going to say if it doesn't already exist, we'll move the one to the other. And then I can give a description as well for this particular um, action within the templates. I'm going to say 440, um, move 440, and add that action. So I've now got a template with one action added to it. You could have any number of actions um, within a template. So you could have a series of changes that you wanted to make to your batch of mark records. In this case, I'm just going to do um, the one. If you did have more than one action, you can change the order of them here in this first box. Um, so if it was important that uh, actions followed on from one another, you could, you could have the correct order there. So that's my mark modification template created. If I just go back to the main screen, you can see now that that's been added in with my other templates there. And I could make further edits to the actions. Um, I could duplicate and I can delete it. So the next stage is to identify the actual mark records that you want to edit. And we do that from within the, the batch record modification tool. So this is second part of the process. On this screen, I can choose either to edit biblios or authority. So you could make these batch edits to authority records if you wanted to. I'm going to concentrate on biblios today. Um, and here in the next section down, you can identify the, the mark records that you want to edit. 
So you can either upload a file of Biblio numbers, so that's the internal number within COA, um, Biblio number. You can choose from a list. So if you've got a list set up for your for the Bib, um, for the mark record that you want to change, you can choose from a, from a list here. You can enter Biblio numbers by copy and pasting them or just um, scanning or typing them into a free text box. And finally, there is another way that you can identify your mark record. You could do it by a, re a report. So if you created a report um, in the reporting module and added Biblio numbers of the field into that report, you can actually um, send those results across into this mark, into the batch modification tool from directly from that report. And that's an, another way that you could do it. Today, I'm going to choose my records from a list that I've already created. So here are my series for updated, that's my list. And it's going to batch edit for any of the, the mark records on that list. And here I'm going to then apply my mark modification template. So there's our 440 update. Choose that and then continue. So on this next screen, it just reminds us which template we're using at the top. And then it lists all the uh, Biblia records that it's identified. A nice little feature is that you can check the mark output. So that's actually the mark output with the, with the changes made. So it's a good way of actually checking whether your mark modification template is doing what you want it to do. So for example, if I show this record here, you can see that we've got a 490 down here with the series title in it. So that shows that it has moved it from the 440 to 490. So it looks like that what the, the modification template is doing what it's supposed to do. I can close out of that. If for whatever reason um, the changes didn't apply for a particular record, you can untick certain ones so you don't actually make changes to all of them. If I'm happy with that, I can just modify the selected records. Might take a little bit of time depending on how many records you're editing in the batch. And now that's telling me that those changes have been made. And if I click the open in a new window, you can just have a look at that mark record. It's got the series in here. Again, if I do a mark preview, it should show us the 490 here has been added in. Um, it hasn't been added in, it's been moved from the 440 rather. Okay. So you can use your mark modifications in another way as well. You can actually apply them when you're um, importing a file of records. So you might get a file of mark records from, a, from a, perhaps an ebook supplier or something like that. Um, and when you stage records for import, you can apply a mark modification tool at that point. So it might be that there's, you want to strip out the subject headings um, or you want to add a particular note field or something like that. You can, again, you can create a mark modification template with those actions in it. And then when you stage the mark record, when you upload the, the, the mark file, you can apply it at that point. So if I just show you that, we stage mark records for import. Just quickly choose the test file. So I've chosen a mark file here, BibCo1. I click to update. You can see here I've got this option to use the mark modification template. And again, I could choose my template there. And all the records that were uploaded to COA ready for staging into the catalogue would have those changes applied to it. Okay, so that's um, batch editing mark records. Um, in the 1911 version, although I think it's quite similar on, on previous versions to that as well. As always, if you've got any questions at all about batch editing mark records, then do um, raise the support ticket with us uh, and we can help you with any queries you've got around that. Thank you.
Okay, thank you.